Hi guys, thank you for joining me. It's Kelly Fusco, also known as the Sunshine Crafter. I have a very exciting video today featuring these shimmer powder, uh, shimmer sprays that I have recently discovered and I cannot say enough about. I am absolutely in love with these. They make such beautiful, beautiful, they give such beautiful shine, color, uh, I just, I'm very excited about this video today and the products I'm going to, to feature. I'm going to be using Tim Holtz um, Butterfly Dyes on Tim Holtz Watercolor Cardstock. Now, I'm pretty much using these four colors and I'm also going to use a red and a yellow later on in the video. But these four right here are pretty much my favorites. Now, it's very important that you whatever you're going to spray, you pop out the negative pieces or is it the positive? Whichever pieces you are going to pop out, pop them out first because I tried spraying them with the piece as a whole before I popped out the little, you know, the die cuts that are to be popped out and the pigment, the shimmer, wind up making it very difficult to pop them out. So whatever you're going to spray, if it's a die cut, make sure you pop out your little pieces first before you spray. The colors that I'm using and everything I'm using will be linked below if you're interested in checking them out. Now here I use two colors and I'm just going to fly through it quickly as I uh, heat it. Now there was one little spot on the tips of the wings I wanted to add so I dried it first and then just added a little bit more color on the tips of the wings. I like to try to do three colors if I can and oh gosh I can't tell you how beautiful these are in person. It is a showstopper in my opinion. These products are unlike anything I've seen. I've, I have a lot of shimmer sprays that are nice to add for like backgrounds or a little shimmer in you know just a yeah, I guess a background piece, but these have so much shimmer and pigment to them that it's unlike any product I've seen. I started off buying a three pack of these and I picked them up at a craft store and I really liked them, but then I realized after I used them once, they got clogged. And then I did some research and I found out the best way to keep them from getting clogged is to when you're done I use a garbage can but you can use a paper towel or whatever you like but take your shimmer sprays turn them upside down and spray them into a napkin or a garbage can or whatever somewhere where it won't over spray and make a mess and spray it until it stops spraying that'll clear the nozzle and the little pipette inside of any shimmer powder and pigment so it doesn't clog up in the future. Usually it pumps out about two or three sprays and then it's clear. Also, when I put my caps back on, I didn't wipe it and there was some paint on the inside. So when I took my cap off, there was droplets and I got it all over my fingers. So you may want to wear gloves, but that hindsight is 2020, right? So here I'm using the another three set of colors and then I realized I wanted a little bit more I wanted it to be a little darker on the bottom, so I'm using the purple. You gotta always remember to shake these up. The pigment, the shimmer pigment or shimmer, sh uh, whatever it is, powder, settles to the bottom really quickly. So you gotta make sure you shake them up real well. Now here I'm introducing a different, it was like a lime color. I forget the name. They have cute names, but I forget what it's called. See here how I have the, the nozzles all dirty? That's because I, I sprayed it and then I forgot to wipe it off before I put the cap on. And then when I shook it up, it got inside. So here's the red and the yellow and I, I really liked the way it turned out. However, when I used the red and yellow, I got a little cross contamination from my pro previous sprays. So I try to move my whatever I'm spraying to a different area of the box. And also, you can also use a, like what I did here is a paper towel because I didn't want to wait for the box to dry. And you know, also thinking, you know what a good idea is, is to use um, like a clear packaging 
underneath if you want to use the overspray for something like maybe ink smushing or if you just want to pick it up with a paintbrush and paint onto something else you could always do that but the overspray was just a little bit and so I didn't feel the need to just I just was focusing on spraying the butterflies and not using the overspray for any other techniques or or whatever so look at that shine it's a little hard I'm trying to go in slow motion and show show it in the light but it's a little hard to capture on video but in person you'll see at the photos at the end of the video are just showstopper I mean they just <laughs> I, I'm at a loss for words they are just so beautiful I can't it's just amazing so here are my butterflies and the different colors I use now what I'm doing off screen is I'm going to stack them three high and this is time consuming because you got to die cut them pop out the little pieces glue them together it took some time I was watching Perry Mason and getting my glue on while I stacked them all three high I, I did all but one and I'll show you the difference in stacking versus non stacking now here's another product I used for the first time and this is the Nouveau Crackle Mousse I wanted to see what how this worked you know what was it like so I'm using some regular painters tape I put it on my arm first to remove some of the tack and I opened this up I got recently got into the crackle mousse and the expanding mousse and I, I like them I really do I'm gonna do another video on them I ordered some other colors I'm gonna do another video just focusing on glimmer paste and all those other you know mixed media um, mousses and embellishing paste and all that now this is a tool I am thrilled about it is a fantastic adjustable little burnisher that I got off Amazon and I saw uh, Jennifer McGuire use one from iCrafter and I loved it I looked it up and it was very expensive for what it was I thought so so being on a budget I went and did some research and I found this one which is its twin for half the price I'll list that below if you're interested what's good about it is that it has a an adjustable palette where you can reach in and grab your paste or your mousse or whatever you're using and you can get it with without with very little effort I also put some glad press and seal on top of my Nouveau I do that with all my all my paste that I open up I put a little piece of that just to make sure that it doesn't dry out now it's a little hard to see here but even though I heat set it there's a little crackle going on but it crackles more as it sat overnight the heat set was just to immediately dry it but as I guess the air cures it went whatever it it crackled more overnight when I went back and looked at it now the next item I'm using here is Sizzix frame square frames now what's good about these is that it just cuts out the thin little frame around the square and that is what I'm going to use to frame my butterfly and the cardstock here I'm using is actually the silver sparkle Yupo cardstock meant for alcohol inks but I don't really like it for that to be honest I use it just as regular cardstock and the inserts I cut out out of regular white cardstock and I used a em embossing folder just to add a little little texture to the middle of my square and I use Simon Says Stamp uh, thank you text for my background and I used light gray ink from Hero Arts I believe it's called soft granite and I use that for the ink now I'm going to use my square insert to get my little frame around it otherwise it'll be all wonky so I, I first I put my square down to make sure that my frame around it was nice and square that's the best way to do it otherwise they can kind of bend and get a little wonky so I'm just using my what glue was that uh, I forget what it's called ah, I don't know I have it linked below it's the you know I can't remember it off the top of my head whatever but I keep it in a fine tip bottle and I use that for these little fine details oh it's a uh, Ranger multimedia mat that's it <laughs> I just had a complete blank moment there 
For my sentiment, I'm using Altenew's Label Love, not the Mega Set, the original Label Love, and I'm just, I'm not going to show you all the sentiments I did. I'm just going to show you the thank you here quick. I used Versamark, Versafine, excuse me, Versamark is the clear ink. I'm using Versamark Onyx Black, and I'm just stamping this with my, my pigment ink here, and I'm going to use Wow Clear Embossing Powder on top to make sure it's dry, gives it a little shine, makes it, just gives a little extra something special. And it also keeps me from smearing it, <laughs> which I know I would do. Now I'm using my Copic marker in, I believe it's 110, not the 100, I think it's the 110. And I'm using the bevel edge and I'm just going around the, the border of my sentiment just to get rid of that white core. And I'm gonna do that with my second one. This is, I, I tried it on a scrap piece of paper first to make sure it didn't bleed, but seeing as it's embossed when clear over it anyway, it's not going to bleed, so it didn't really matter. I do that a lot to avoid getting that white, white border showing. Now see, I used some scrap paper to cut my butterfly to give it dimension. I did it three high. So I, I did three, actually four high, excuse me. I did three, I glued three, and then the fourth one on top. There's my thank you sentiment, I'm putting it on, and here's one that I did not add dimension to. It's a lot more flat, you see the difference. You'll see it in a moment. Now here's the other ones. After I was done, I added some Trinity stamps, gold baubles, and Trinity stamps in sterling silver baubles. It's a tongue twister. And I added them to all my cards. I made, I think, five of them. And these are all the butterflies here. There you go, and all different sentiments. Happy birthday, thank you, you're awesome, all that. It's a great set to have. I was able to mass produce these cards quickly. I just did all my butterflies, all my stamping, my embossing, and there you go. So in a moment, you'll see a close-up of my card so you can see the shimmer. Look at that. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I hope you guys will consider liking and subscribing if you like what you see. Please consider leaving a comment and subscribing for my giveaway as a thank you. As a thank you giveaway. Stay safe, stay crafty, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.